The Philippines is made up of a vast archipelago of nearly 7,000 islands and divided into the northern, central, and southern regions. The Filipino Martial Arts, or FMA, refers to the indigenous fighting methods of the Philippines. They incorporate elements from both Western and Eastern martial arts, and is known by such names as Arnis, Eskrima, and Kali. It is usually said that the term Arnis is used in the north, Eskrima in the central regions, and Kali in the south. Typically, in Western culture, especially in the USA, the term Kali is used. But in Europe, many times you will hear the term Eskrima used a little more often. No matter what term is used, they are referring to the art of the Philippines. Just as Taekwondo has different sub-styles, the main art still comes from Korea. The Filipino martial arts has seen an increase in prominence due to its use in several Hollywood movies such as the Born Identity series and was actually first seen back in the 70s when Bruce Lee used it in Enter the Dragon and his main instructor, Dan Inosanto, again used Kali in The Game of Death. Dan Inosanto has also greatly added to its popularity by adding Kali Eskrima to the curriculum of Jeet Kune Do, thereby introducing FMA to the thousands of Jeet Kune Do practitioners around the world. The Philippine government has included Filipino martial arts into the physical education curriculum for high school and college students and they were added to the Philippine National Games in 2006. In 2009, FMA was declared the National Martial Art and Sport of the Philippines. Knowledge of the Filipino fighting arts is mandatory for the Philippine military and police. In fact, you will find Filipino martial arts being taught to police and military worldwide. That's because the Filipino martial arts are considered the most advanced, practical, modern blade system in the world and are now a core component of the U.S. Army's Modern Army Combatives Program and used by the Russian Special Forces. Filipino martial artists are noted for their ability to fight with weapons or empty hands and their ability to turn ordinary household items into lethal weapons such as a broom, umbrella, pen, or magazine. Unlike most martial arts, in FMA, you begin your training with a weapon. On the first day of class, you will be taught the basics of the rattan stick. After this, you learn double sticks, dulo dulo, which is a pocket stick or kubaton, the knife, defensive and offensive, karumbit, and others. We also add gun retention and disarms at the instructor level in our system. Weapons training takes precedence because they give an edge in real fights, gear students psychologically to face armed opponents, and any object that can be picked up can be used as a weapon using FMA techniques. The best part is that the techniques are the same. You don't have to learn a whole new set of techniques for your weapon. The techniques are the same whether it is empty hand, stick, or knife. Many people think of the Filipino martial arts as that stick fighting art, but nothing could be further from the truth. FMA has a wide variety of punches, which come from panantukin or dirty boxing, as well as kicks, pananjakman, joint locks, and wrestling which is called Dumak.